What? I have work to do. You have work to do. I have actual like, I have actual like work to do. So we just gotta sit here for an hour while you're doing your work. Well, it's not an hour. It's just, like I have to, I have to send an email. <laughs> oh my god! So um, uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna wait until we uh, can confirm or deny whether or not we're streaming. I think that's important. Eh. Mm. <laughs> nobody, eh. nobody listens to there us. There it is. That is that little thing. Nobody listens to us. They all just they all just chat. Really, they do. Most of the time, I think the chat just goes and does its own thing. And every once in a while, they're like, "Oh, that's right." We're what time? What time's movie dick starting? Exactly. <laughs> and then we watch Star Trek tonight. Oh yeah, what, what, are we what doing? episode? What episode? That's great. Uh, actually, yeah, no, uh, keep them entertained for a second. <laughs> I'll, I'll be right back. <laughs> oh my god, so Jack has has left me, abandoned me to the stream. Hello, hello. Uh, I guess there's. Uh, has something to do with the Elgato or whatnot. A larger delay than normal. So, uh... I have no idea what the fuck you're going to be talking about once you actually hear me say this. Uh, right now, you're, it looks like you're just just noticing that the stream has has started. What the fuck? And uh, I hope you're, hope you're having a nice night tonight. Who was that? Who was that? Tiny Turnip! Thank you! For subscribing. We really appreciate it. I don't think he's going to say it. At least he can't hear me saying it. He's too busy sending out his fucking email. <sighs> well, I'm just going to awkwardly sit here not not playing Bloodborne. That's what I'm going to do. Yep. The clickbait video was fucking awesome. Uh, thank you, Leftover Beefcake. I thought it was kind of amazing. More amazing than it had any right to be. Mr. Shy Smile! Thank you for subscribing. We really appreciate it. That's true, we really do. We just, we just pretend Jack said that. 14 months in a row, Mr. Shy Smile. That's something. That's something. And, uh, hello, Draco! 16 months in a row. Thank you for subscribing. We really appreciate it. And, uh, one more is coming up. When I say the name, I'll say it. I can't see it yet, so I can't say it. I'm looking for it on the, in the chat. The chat's gonna say things. Cesarean fart. You got Hell Divers after the stream, and you're playing it right now. Oh my God! How do you, how do you love Hell Divers? I don't know what to play. I got Bloodborne DLC, and I got Hell Divers. Last, last week or so, Hell Divers has been winning the battle. But they're both great things. No fear, no envy, and purple space bazooka. Thank you for subscribing. We really appreciate it. Uh, Star Wars, Star Wars is not out till well, a couple days. Technically, tomorrow at midnight. So really, tomorrow. Here's the deal with Star Wars. Obviously, I've already seen it, and the big spoiler is that uh, Darth Vader is not Luke Skywalker's father after all. They have a paternity test in the movie, and uh, it turns out that that it's actually Chewbacca is Darth Vader's son. No. Nothing? All right. Seriously, though, about Star Wars The Force Awakens, because there are reviews coming out and there are potential spoilers, uh, mods, please just ban anybody that wants to spoil Star Wars. If anybody starts talking about spoilers, now here's your warning. Please don't even joke about it, because right now, next to nobody has seen the movie, and we can't tell the difference between real spoilers and fake spoilers. So anybody wants to even try and pretend they're spoiling the movie, just get rid of them. Mod silence them for the night. It didn't have to be a permaban. But I think I think just for everybody's benefit, no no Star Wars spoiler esque talk. Uh, Jack, could you could you please please say it's true? We really do about seven times. It's I mean one. It is true. We really do for whatever Rich said. 
absolutely the 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 tr- it's absolutely true. Uh, yeah, yeah, perma ban for people even joking about Star Wars yeah. spoilers because we can't tell the difference between what's a real spoiler and what's a joke right now. We can't. You know that that might be a little harsh, but I'll, I'll go with it, Rich. It's too I'll, important to too many people, especially the people who would watch us. Sure, sure. You will have seen the whole movie on Monday thanks to the internet. That's basically true, and and so it's like. For those of us who care about, like, watching the movie and, you know, experiencing it, we just have to not be on the internet. Here's my whirly gig saw. I almost read a review just because of where it was at. I'm like, what the fuck? It was uh, on Roger Ebert's website. Really? And I'm like, Ghost Roger Ebert is not reviewing movies. What the fuck is this? (laughs) And then I noticed, you know, they had a different writer's name. Like, oh, I guess they're just... Utilizing his corpse <laughs> to, <laughs> his, to make internet views. Okay. They're utilizing his brand. <laughs> then I almost started reading. I'm like, wait a minute. I can't do that. <laughs> so, so like carte blanche, anyone even jokes about spoilers. They're, yeah. They're gone for at least the night. Just banned for the, the night. night. Not a perma ban, obviously, but just gone for the night. And, yeah, because somebody might think they're being so silly that no one could possibly believe it, but uh-huh. just no chances. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's them's the rules. Um, Everybody yeah. would have thought you were nuts if you said, well, the force is just microbes in your blood. The <laughs> 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 well, <laughs> force is just microbes. I just saw episode <laughs> one, and the, the, the force is, uh, you know, like little robots in your blood. <laughs> you can actually do a blood test for it. <laughs> And the people will go, you're nuts. Um, I'll stop mowing the lawn now. Yeah, so you've, you've got this fancy the DLC going on, and you have fancy saws. And I got, the, I got. So, so here's the weapons I've. Oops, I spittled a little bit. Uh, here's the weapons I've been running: is the Whirligig saw as my heavy, and Simon's bow blade as my main weapon. And I've been super strong, leveling both my skill and my blood tinge. Mm-hmm. Uh, for example, uh, w- which against the giant beasts makes me uh, unstoppable. <laughs> it's it's actually a little harder when it's like the one on one hunter battles. Yeah. But like I went up against the one reborn, and if anyone's fought the one re- reborn, that is a fucking hard fight. Eh. Beat him first try. <laughs> That's nice. First That's nice. fucking try. And, you know, like, true, now I know all of his moves. I know the gimmick. But I beat him first fucking try. Um, Did so. you shoot him a lot? How often are you firing the bow? Pretty often. How much quicksilver, or quick, quick, what are they calling? Quick, uh, oh, hang on. I'm drawing a fucking name. Right. I think it's quicksilver bullets. Well, how much does it consume? How much ammo? Just one. Just one? Just one that's per nice. shot. That's nice. See, that's nice. Just one per shot, and then, you know, I usually do the, the blood up. Can you charge it like the heavy attack? You can. <laughs> and if an enemy's back is to- uh, turned away from you and you hit him with that charged attack, yeah. it stuns them. So you can go in, you can jump in for a quick visceral attack. Nice. So it makes dealing with em- enemies a lot easier. But, uh... Right now, uh, where I am, I'm going to fuck around in the DLC a little bit, but actually, uh, oh, wait, no, no. I, I, before I forget, I want to head to the workshop. Where's the workshop? No. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. there it is. Because uh, I only have one umbilical cord, and I want that, I want that next umbilical cord. Oh, you guys will keep up. my God! Spec Spore and Shark Spear <laughs> 14 months in a row. Thank you for subscribing. We really appreciate it. It's it's true. We really uh, By do. the way, I'm not going to read donation things if they're Star Wars spoilers, even as a joke. <gasps> oh, Rich, that's that's our that's the one downfall. Okay. Okay. I can't I can't mic and read from here. This is terrible. Well, you put it in your mind. Harry Flashman VC says... Rich is a lovely soul, and Jack needs to tell me his Steam name. <laughs> Ethan Mage says... <laughs> Is 
something. God damn it. Well, Mike's not reaching enough. To just, just paraphrase. Well, I'm going to move this. Just paraphrase. To cleanse my sins for breezes next week, <laughs> I must confess, <laughs> a little while ago in the chat, we talked about Bucky Barnes. My brain got confused with Jimmy Olsen and showed a pic of his head blown off. For, okay, so first of all... Oh, oh yeah. Oh, by the way, yes. This is... Um, I, I just saw... This is uh, Ethel Gilf. This is the Ethel Gilf character that I... Uh, that I was streaming a while ago. Here's uh, here's my current level. I'm super pumped up. Hundred level 106. Oh my god! Skill uh, 40. Blood tinge 28. Like any, and now all of my points are going into blood tinge. Uh, my Steam name is Harlack. You can't friend me right now because my friends are full. Um, I I should just go and call anybody who's been like well over a year hasn't logged into Steam. That's probably a good. And idea. Just get rid of them. That's probably a good yeah. idea. I have a backlog of friend requests. Uh, thank you, by the way. I actually just got gifted a bunch of trading cards. Uh, thank you, whoever did that. Uh, so now I can get get a higher level. Where the fuck is this umbilical cord? Are you in the the old hunters? The okay, go to the the desk. Straight ahead. You might have already picked it up. You might be missing another one. I thought it was on there. It could be in that cabinet behind you. Oh, oh! I probably already picked it up. So there's this one. There's the one the prostitute gives you. Yeah. And then there's the one that the, the nursemaid gives you. Okay. I already got this one. Oh, okay. Great. Then everything's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, and so the second one, Bucky Barnes and Jimmy Olsen. What? I, I don't know. He got, he got the two confused. They're two sidekick characters. Two sidekick characters. Kind of makes a little bit of sense. Yeah. Do you remember? Do you remember when the joke used to be nobody comes? I mean, uh, nobody in comics stays dead except for Bucky and Uncle Ben. Do you remember that used to be the joke? Was that the joke? Bucky stayed dead. Bucky and Uncle Ben. Oh, now okay. it's just Uncle Ben. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is it, wait, did Bucky come back in the comics? Winter Soldier. Is that a comic thing or is that that's a comic? There's oh, both. I, I don't know. X friend represent, yeah. Um, I guess I guess Winter Soldier spoilers. Oh god! <laughs> Quick, somebody ban me. Right. I don't know if I I don't know if my level is high, but it feels like uh, Ethel Gilf here is way at a way higher level than my other character, who I've beaten the game with. Um. So here, I'm in the uh, the nightmare of Mensis. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you've been here yet, uh, so I'm probably spoiling some things. But it's fucking. It's a. This is the most fucked up place because if I do you see this? Do you see the enemies over here? Here, mm-hmm. let me get my monocle, so you guys can see this because this is awesome. <laughs> this is so cool. So there is a giant creature in this castle, and uh, what you'll see over here. Check this out. Um, do you see these enemies, like these bad guys, hiding behind a rock? Yeah, they're hiding from the big boss in the castle because, <laughs> like, check this out. If I get too far away here, oh, oh shit! Hey, dude! <laughs> I didn't know he was those right those, there. Those are those guys that throw the rocks. Yeah, at you. I'm just trying to show you the cool thing that happens over here. I'm gonna see if I can push him off a cliff. Oh, crap! <laughs> well, fuck it. Anyway, there's this monster that that uh, turns uh, that gives everyone frenzy. And so even the other enemies are hiding behind rocks. Okay. Because he even... He, oh, fuck you. <laughs> Why didn't you heal? Huh? Why didn't you heal? I don't want to waste the blood vials. I didn't do anything there anyway. <laughs> I didn't do anything. Fuck him. That's fine. Everything's fine. You are literally spoiling the end of the game. Of this? Oh, I suppose, yeah. Sure am. I want to say that this has been out long enough uh, for... 
Oh, now do you have my blood echoes? It's only 5,000. Oh, what was that then? That was them. Okay, great. It was only 5,000, but still. I'm literally spoiling the end of the game now, so spoiler warning, this is the end of the... This is the last-ish level. And I'm trying to be more complete this time. Like, I finished the game without fully exploring this castle. Do you hear that? Yep. Do you hear the baby crying? Fucking love it. Uh, so I'm on a boss fight right now, so heads up. I'm going to be moving fast. These guys, fuck them. Don't need to fight them. We're fighting Mikolash, host of the nightmare. They are, they are so good at just enemy design, like mm -hmm. visual d enemy design, aren't they? Absolutely. Look at look at Mikolash, by the way. This guy with the, one of those fucking cages on his head. Yeah. Fucking love him. Now, and all these skeletons have, like, marionette strings on their hands because Mikolash is controlling them. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Right, just right away. Wow. That was, I mean, that was, that was pitiful. That was shameful. <laughs> that was shameful of me. I, uh, I'm sorry. That happens. I'm okay with that. Jack Band, Jack Band for spoiling Bloodborne. Absolutely sorry for spoiling the game. I'm, yeah, I told you I was playing. We will have a spoiler-filled Star Wars talk after we see it, and after you know enough time has passed. But not tonight. It's not even out yet. Settle down, everybody. We probably just just should have done a whole shitload of Star Wars games. We probably missed the trolley tonight. Eh, I don't care. Mm. I want to play Bloodborne. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. I'm I'm glad. Usually, you're so against I, streaming games. I am streamed, and I'm the one who's like, eh, "It's fine." <laughs> I do. I hate it. I like it. the the performer in me. You know, says something new, something different, something new. But like, then we play something new, and we're bad at it because we never played it before. Exactly. And everyone in the streams just like, "Oh, that's so terrible." Well, yeah. But it's like because the, we had never played it before. The gamer in me just, well, I just want to play Bloodborne. I want to explore this castle because I never got to explore it my last playthrough, and I'm here now and been playing some other games. So Mikolaj runs around for a little bit and then eventually ends up in the room. He went to the room first thing last time. You can hit him a little bit here, but you just got to follow him. Why don't you use your bow blade? Hit him in the back while he's running away. It, it, he'll just disappear. Like hitting him here. See, he just vanishes. Oh. It does a little bit of damage, but... Oh, fuck you, Skellington. Jack Skellington. Yeah. There we go. Go into your room, Mikolash. Jack hates healing. Huh? Jack hates healing. I'll heal when it's time. See, like, listen. Get in here. I know this boss fight, so it's like he, he conjures the Skellingtons. Get out of here. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. Fuck you, move. Nice recovery? Huh? <laughs> Nothing. I'm just being ass. I know. I'm doing terribly, but that's fine. Okay, so you skill, kill the Skellingtons. Oh I, I switched to... Oh my god! I switched to Diet Coke because that's what's in the fridge right now. Yeah? Yeah, and there's no thought behind it. What Are you, are you normally a Diet pepsi -er? Uh Yeah. Oh, okay. I know they switched the aspartame or whatever. I don't know, whatever. It stays, it stays fine. It's fine. Gobbledygook says, Rich, did you know the 1985 New Coke formula was the formula for Diet Coke with corn syrup instead of aspartame? Oh. Oh, and DC Universe Online, yada yada, PS4, yada ah, yada, ah, free, ah. yada yada, fucks. I, I did not know that. Mm. It's, it's very interesting. That is very interesting. I did, you know what? I I was looking into DC Online Universe. We might be able to have some fun with it on stream. Echo and Is there an echo? People say all kinds of crazy things. I don't know what's true and what's not true. Okay. Oh, well, that was just his first one. So, what? so then what you're supposed to do, and or what I did the first time, is is basically this whole thing is a maze, right? <gasps> And so you know you're you're confused and you have to find him again, but I, I know where to find him now. So up the stairs, around the corner, run past two uh, midget knights. Okay, don't don't get hit by the guy's bow and arrow. 
because it takes away a lot of damage. You could murder them, but fuck it, that takes time. Okay, and then he's up there. But he's gonna disappear again. Look at this, he goes into a magic mirror. Oh no, where did he go? And then, like, this area over here is another maze, but I just know where to go because I've done this fight a million times. Yeah, do you like Bloodborne? I fucking love Bloodborne. Uh, it's fucking... It's my favorite game. Okay, so then he goes in here. Oh, no, it's a, it's a trap. You can't get in. So then... Oh, where is if, this? If I have a complaint about Bloodborne... Yeah. It's the lack of ability to be versatile with weapons. You kind of have to build for something and just deal with it. Like I would like, absolutely. To, I would like to play around with the bow blade, but mm -hmm. my blood tinge is seven right. right now, and so that would be stupid. Right, and I'm sure your skill isn't the greatest. Well, I, well for the Ludwig's, which is what I like using the uh -huh. uh, I've got high power, high strength, and high skill. Oh, okay. But I got shit blood tinge and shit. Uh, okay. Yeah, Blood Tinge is really important for, uh... Oh, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you! Is really important for... Oh, crap. Again? We need a different cord for this fucker. Is that good now? So as as I was saying, damn it, yeah. I think I think the problem in Bloodborne is that you can't be. I see it now. Yeah. Versatile with the weapons. Right. You can't just play around with a weapon. You can't. I like. You can't really just switch to something new because you're you're encouraged to to build mm -hmm. for a specific weapon or a specific type of weapon. Like. Right. I've put all my points into strength and skill for the Ludwig's blade. Yeah. And so now I really can't use the bow blade because my blood tinge is at seven. It it discourages versatility in the weapons. It, you can't it, you can't switch. <laughs> you can't you can't play with that new toy you just found. You're not supposed to. It encourages just playing the game again. <laughs> you just start over, Rich, and it's fine. You just start a whole new game and make a whole new build. Uh, I agree with that. Also, uh, on my second playthrough here, and then a and after. After I got this weapon and started building towards it, mm -hmm. the world became a lot smaller, if that makes any sense. Like, I'm making my way through levels mm -hmm. a ton faster. One, because I know how to get through them. Yeah. And two, because this weapon is fairly powerful. Mm -hmm. And so, my first play through the game, you know, it was just this vast, scary universe and now it's like, oh, actually, this level's kind of small. And, you know, <laughs> oh, you know, like, maybe what made it seem so big is the fact that it was taking me so long. I still think it's big. The Forbidden Forest, man. That fucking Forbidden Forest is, is comically large. You know, not really. Oh, good. <laughs> I, think, I, think, I just think that's wrong. That's a huge area. It's, it's big-ish, but it, I, it feels smaller because... Um, because I know my way around. You know? Mm -hmm. I consider it a failure if I take any damage during this first encounter with him. I want to let you know that. Uh, okay. Because it's very easy. He how, just, how he just many, does this. How many times have you played this? Played what? Bloodborne. Through to the end. Just once. Once through to the end. Um, and now this is my second, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh Oops. my there god! Go. So this is my second playthrough. Like, I guess, like, I've played, I, I've started another character Majestic. once, but didn't get very far. Nikolai. User 277221 says. <laughs> I want to dip Rich's balding head into oil and to rub it all over whatever. Okay. Yeah. 
right. Yeah, whatever. You said things. They're too weird. <laughs> I reserved the right, the right to not read comments. <laughs> ah, you know what? You read it. The creep factor is just way too high on that particular one. All right. I know it's supposed to be. I know it's supposed to be joke, but mm-hmm. it's just it's just creep. <laughs> you know what? I you know what? I will read it here. Okay. Yeah, I think you know. Okay. I want to dip Rich's balding head. Uh huh. Oh, oh, my, my mic cord. Oh, no. Yeah, you gotta stop moving that thing around. Well, it happens, you know, when you move it, the cord's loose, it happens. Sure. Fuck! That's, that's the thing, that's the hard one to dodge. You know what I need to do? I need to be smart about this. Wait, Rich Talk? What? Testing? Testing? What? W- wiggle your mic cord again. again. Yeah. Back. There we go. We gotta just change this cord, I think. We need a Let new. Me... Just a new cord? Yeah. Yeah, probably. No, I mean, I mean, I guess what I mean to say is absolutely we will get a, you a new cord. Yeah. Yeah. I demand a new cord. We will get you a new cord. We will get. I mean, I'm sure we have a new cord here. Like it's not even yeah. like it's not even like we have to buy you a new cord. I don't, but I, basically, I don't think I can bend forward to read the messages anymore. Well, that's fine. I'll do it. You guys will get a close up of my head. It'll be great. Why did I come here? I'm such a dummy, Rich. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, I need more arcane defense. Is what I need. Oh my! Because God. that. Speaking of. <laughs> Uh, Anonymous says, here's some money. You can buy more eggs. <laughs> also, Rich, have you played Final Fantasy Tactics? No. You, you probably like it since uh, you love XCOM so much. It's not the standard Final Fantasy, which I know you dislike. It's the it's like a tactics. Okay. Okay, great. I don't know why I came here. People like their Final Fantasy. They're very fond of it. They're very fond of the Final Fantasy universe. That is true. That is very wait, true. Wait, go back. What? Did the doll clothes actually have really good arcane defense? Was I just seeing things? Oh no, the doll clothes have really good um, blood defense. Or oh, that's the knight's garb. Wait, where are the doll clothes? What the? I thought it was blood the doll defense. clothes for a second. See, the doll clothes have really good blood defense. No, that's the noble dress. Go one down more. It's doll clothes. Oh no, doll clothes have nothing. They have frenzy resistance, but I mean, even that's pretty okay. Low. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, I just need more arcane defense, which I think I have now, and I don't know why I came back here. Render unto me. Thank you for subscribing. We really appreciate it. It's true. We really do. Ooh, 80. Because I'm dying single hits with the, with that stupid, which I think is an arcane attack, but I don't even know. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, look at that fanciful outfit. Look at look at Ethel Gilf now. It's a nice outfit. That's uh, I. I really like the Yargul's garb. I like yeah. being being the ratty old old. I don't. I don't think that fits Gilf. Gilfy McGilf. Gilfy McGilf. No, Gilf. it's what fits fits me. I like being a ratty old uh, monk. That's what I play as. I just like my badass hat. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's your hat? Go. The, the Father Father Gascoigne. Oh sure. Gascoigne. Yeah. I like that. I love that hat. Yeah. It just it's right. All right. I like the hoods. I like the hoods. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. fine. It's fine. I like the Seems hoods o- only fine. because they they have better defense. I got the old hunters like floppy hat. Mm-hmm. And it's like it's got okay oh stats, but it just looks too my weird. God. Okay, that is from Sabric. Sabric oh has a vi- Sabrick has a very important question. Opinions on 1992's Mr. Baseball? Uh, none. Tom, have not seen it. Tom Selleck. Tom, Tom Selleck? Selleck goes to Japan. Mm-hmm. 
I'm I'm sure looking back on it, it's actually a very racist movie. But for a second, I thought you were, they were talking about that. That what was it, Mister Three Thousand? The, <laughs> the oh, the Bernie uh, Bernie Mac, the Bernie Mac movies part Bernie shot comes, partially in Milwaukee. It comes out of retirement to get that last home run hit because some it, the stat was nullified right. for some reason. For some reason, yep. Shot uh, partially at Miller Stadium. Mr. 3000. That's the only bit of trivia that I, I care about. Come on, Mikolash. Don't run from me, Mikolash. I love oh you. Oh, my God. I know. There's more, too. You're going to have to wait until after the Mikolash fight. I'll get him. My name is Tate, says. We, uh, oh. Yes, we are fond of that Final Fantasy. You like that shit, too. LOL, fuck my cock. You're getting sloppy, Jack. Sloppy. I, you know what? No, that wasn't sloppy. That was greedy. The skeleton was right the in front of him. Same fucking thing. The same fucking thing. The skeleton was right in front of him, so I was like, oh, I could take out the skeleton and get some hits on him, and yeah, that was greedy. Is this game open for bro-op? Eh, not right now. I'm j I, I want to beat him by myself. I I bro-opped uh, Vicar Amelia. Oh, hey! You're not supposed to spawn more skeletons. Whoa, whoa! Oh. You can't tell him what to do. He's the boss here. He, you, uh, sorry, you usually don't spawn more skeletons. Maybe you usually don't come into his house and hit him with swords either. <laughs> you know what, Rich? That is a really fair point. <laughs> that is a really, really fair point. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mikolash. This is actually my. I'm the aggressor here. Many apologies. Um. I think later I'm going to go into the DL. Oh, oh. The, uh, the Dulk. I'm going to go into the Dulk, and uh, and there I'll probably need some bro op because uh, it's new and scary. <laughs> Miko Lash, I can beat, and more importantly, I want to beat. Oh my ah, god! Fuck. Lol, fuck my cock! <laughs> Damn it! Oh, twice, Jack. Gosh, darn it! Twice. Oh heck! <laughs> Ah! Fucking midget. Uh, Comixian, you won't be able to bro up with me again because Jack is blank. Maybe, uh, maybe later, like, Rich, you can mess around with my blade if, if you want to, uh, to check out the bow blade. Pretty sick-ass weapon. I haven't even done anything. I've, I've only been using it at the Ford this time. So far, I've been using it at the Ford. Uh, I don't think we're going to be doing a review of the DLC, but it's fun. Bloodborne is a fun game. Bloodborne is a fun game. Alright, I'm going for it for real this time. You do that thing, Jack. You do that thing. Blood echoes are behind you. Can give a shit. I don't. I I I vaulted towards him. Yeah, I know you did. I vaulted I towards him. I couldn't figure out why. That was I couldn't figure out why either. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. Uh... Oh god! Did you see the the trailer for Star Trek Beyond? That, that's uh, actually Purple Space Bazooka. <clears throat> Thank you for reminding me uh, in in chat. Purple Space Bazooka gave us a tip and wanted to know if we saw. The Star Trek trailer. Oh my God. So <laughs> there you go. There you go. Oh my God. What the fuck are they doing? Oh, I I didn't watch the trailer. You know why? The last movie sucked. Why does people? Why do people care? Oh, the the, the music throughout the entire trailer is Beastie Boys music. Really? Really. Oh, that actually gets me excited. <laughs> <laughs> the whole trailer is to the Beastie Boys. Which one? Oh, I don't remember. <laughs> They're all the same to me. No, I want to see it. I love the Beastie Boys. <laughs> no, listen here. I, I miss, Where is the Star Trek? Where is it? You don't get it anymore. There, there isn't a Star Trek trailer because it's not Star Trek. 
And then, and more importantly, just why is anyone surprised at anything Star Trek anymore? Director of Fast and the Furious and lots of things blowing up. Yeah. There's nothing Star Trek about that. Right. No, I didn't watch the trailer because I didn't care. Like I, the first, the Star Trek, the Star Trek was an all right movie. The second one blew hard. Thank you, Pete Ninos. There is no message, and so there is no, there is just no reason for me to care. And Sabrick says opinions on Monkey Island. I've actually never played it. That's right, you because you don't. I was a Sierra Adventure game guy more so than a LucasArts one. Right. I like typing in what I did. Right. And yes, I see in the chat, I, I am over-leveled and underperforming. I am. There's no, there's no, um, I'm not going to sugarcoat this. That's the streaming curse. Part of We always curse. do some percentage worse when streaming. It just always happens. Whoa. He is not supposed to go up there. Part of it's that um, I, I did die to him a few times just on my own. But, you know, sometimes that happens with a boss. I, I am, like, really trying to not take any damage with him. You know, like, I'm, I'm playing... I'm playing him... I'm trying to play him cool, where, mm -hmm. where it's like I'm, I'm really going for that parry and... Yeah. But, uh... So I probably... No, but the... The, the new Star Trek trailer. It, it looks like a, a Star Trek movie for people who don't like Star Trek. <laughs> That's how I would describe it. Hasn't that been like all of them? I would argue there was still nostalgia from the first one. Sure. Okay. I guess I can give you that. Majestic. A hunter is a hunter. Yeah, I like Miko Lash. All right. These fuckers. Ha! How do you people magically know their level? Uh, Jack showed everybody at the start of the stream. It's true. I can show you again, too. <laughs> He's 106. I'm 106. 106 levels young. What? 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 And I have an absurd amount of points in skill, which this weapon, uh, uh, what do you call it, levels well with. So I should be murdering him far easier than I am. What what level do you have to be to have everything at 50? What do you mean? Like how long would that take to get to level 50 in every category? Oh, I know you can go beyond that, but there's very little gain. Mm -hmm. Pro I mean, it would probably take a while to have everything at 50. Yeah. Oh, God. Then you could use whatever the fuck weapon you wanted. It would make no damn that difference. That would take so much grinding, though. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm assuming the new game plus it wouldn't be that bad. But you get a lot more blood echoes in new game plus, if I'm not mistaken. Fuck you, Mikolash. Heal, huh? Heal. I, I, I'm waiting for his attack. Oh, fuck. fuck, 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 fuck. See, I was waiting for his tentacles attack, and then he didn't do that. So then I chose to heal, and he did that. No. Yeah. Streaming curse. Yeah, yeah, it happens. I don't know. I don't care about Star Trek anymore. I after Into Darkness, that franchise can just go right the, ahead. And the, the movies. Well, sure. But, like, I was optimistic after the, the show will movie. probably be bad, too, but I guess there's hope. Eh. I don't, no, I don't give a fuck about anything anymore. I don't give a fuck about anything anymore. It doesn't have to say Star Trek on it, as long as there's good sci-fi somewhere. Right. Hey, look, it's like I'm playing Helldivers. Like I started on Netflix watching... Mm -hmm. Get it? I get it. Do you get it? I get it. You spin a lot? I'd never do that because it's stupid. I love doing that. Start a little spin cycle. Anyway, uh, go ahead. I've started on Netflix watching, what's it called, the, the 100... <laughs> Or something like oh, that. Oh, sure, yeah. I've, I've seen that. I have, I, or I've seen the name. I have not seen it. Interesting premise, though all of the kids who are supposed to be the main characters are kind of obnoxious. But the premise is interesting enough. Uh, 
Cesarean Farts wants to know ETA on Space Cop DVD Blu-rays. We're, it, it's out of our hands. We're waiting. We, we want them as fast as we can. We're waiting on the physical copies mm-hmm. to get back to us from the people who are actually printing out the discs yes. and everything. No official word. As soon as there is official as word. As soon as we can, but it's, it's, <laughs> it's just out of our hands right now. Yeah. You you will know the very second yes. that Jay or Mike knows. The very second. If they come in at 3 in the morning, you will know We're, we're going to spend the day doing nothing but packaging orders is what we're, what's, what's going to happen. Absolutely. It's, it's going to be more than one day, hopefully. Oh, it would be kind of horrible if it wasn't. <laughs> right? You dicks. I don't like how much health I've lost already. That is upsetting to me. Also, I'm going to have to go farm for some blood vials now. I just I just hope the copies come in, like, literally the night of a stream. Because you know why? Why? Because then we could say they're coming out tomorrow. Oh, my God. I would, that would love be great. for that to actually happen. They're not here yet, though. They're not here yet, though. The... <laughs> They are actually not here, but that would be hilarious. Yes, it would. If we could say it's coming out tomorrow. And it's coming out tomorrow. And it's actually coming out tomorrow. <laughs> that would make that whole jer- joke worth it. There we go. Okay. Mikkel Ash. All right, no more farting around here. No more cesarean farting around. Oh, the other part of that was... Um, oh, sorry. It won't be a digital download right away. Um, are we planning? Are we planning on watching more Neil Breen movies? Cesarean Fart says. And have we seen any of his crowdfunding videos? I think I saw one of his crowdfunding videos. As far as will there be more? Most likely. Most likely. I, I have not seen any of his crowdfunding. We don't. Videos. We don't actually pick out the movies we watch that far in advance. So. <laughs> But there's a high probability we'll want to do more Breen at some point. Oh, a very high probability. Oh a very high probability. Can you read that? Can Synonymous you read? says he is he did not receive his copy of the Star Wars Holiday Special last uh Last Christmas, he wants to know. Does that mean if he's is he naughty or nice? Ooh, no, that means someone loves you. Yeah, someone somewhere loves you because they don't want you to go through that. Santa actually intercepted the package. Yeah. Where are you? He's like right. Is there a way I can fall on you? That would be great. Where are you, you dickhead? Maybe you should shoot him when he's doing the charge for that arcane attack. That's actually not a bad idea. What? You were right there? I love how he uses these standard bare hand attacks, though. He's got his fists together. Well, touched a little bit of it. Fuck that attack. Fuck that attack. You might have tried dodging back. Huh? Maybe. He's gotten me every way. Fuck that attack. Um, Did you guys actually ship all those copies of the Star Wars Holiday Special during the last Christmas episode? Yes. <laughs> yes, we actually shipped all of those copies of the Star Wars Holiday Special. Most to George Lucas himself. <laughs> yeah, we shipped them all to George. We shipped them all to George. We found uh, we found his home address. Shipped them all to George. It was great. One more one more try, and I got to do some uh, some uh, blood vial farming. Oh my God, you're down to seven. Yeah, I can do this. I feel like I can do this. I feel that was seven blood vials. Yeah, I can do this with seven blood vials. Oh my God! I got it. Sabric, I'm sorry. We have a we have a two dollar, we have a two dollar. Uh, us answer your questions limit. You could whisper it to me. I'm just curious what it was. Uh, he's, he's just asking about games we've played. Okay. It's, yeah, it's, okay. So I'm sorry, Sabric. 
I'm just going to say yes. <laughs> Without having seen the game. <laughs> uh, just yes. <laughs> I don't know if I talked about this um, last stream. Uh, did I tell you I finished Man in the High Castle? Yeah. Really great. That's a that's a great show. I really enjoyed it. Front to back. I can't root for Man, anybody. Uh, huh? I can't root for anybody. That's kind of the point, I think. I think I think that's kind of the thing. Get away from your skeleton. Um... If you stay close and dodge to the side, he won't use that big spell. Oh. He exclusively uses it as a ranged attack. Ooh, that's good to know. So you gotta be... You gotta... You gotta I always keep in mind when I play these games that they design these games around aggression. Right. That is your, true. Your natural instinct against the huge, powerful boss is to back up. Yeah. And they, they exploit that to... To punish people who back up. <laughs> you want to be right by their fucking legs. Right. You're playing it wrong. Oh my god! god. Yeah. Oh, well, it's two dollars total, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Plus he did. He did uh, donate two earlier. Oh, okay. So you know Sa what? Sa well, so Sabric uh, one says we're worse than fucking cam whores. Okay. Uh, I actually, I want to say we just are cam whores. No, yeah, we have a camera. Um, how long did we resist the cam? Huh? How long did we resist? the Oh, cam? over a year. Uh, but so Sa Sabric says um, Opinions on Leisure Suit Larry games slash Beast Master movies. That's a weird slash. That is a weird slash. I can only imagine that they're not the same thing. Um, but I, I, so I think it's two questions. Leisure Suit Larry. I played the first one. I like the first one a lot. Mm -hmm. Me and Jack streamed the second one. Oh, and it was wasn't had a bad it time. Quite as much. Had a bad time streaming that. Which was sad for me because that was the last. Parser Sierra game that I hadn't played. Uh -huh. This is like, oh, okay. Well, that sucks. As far as the Beastmaster goes, I've never seen the Beastmaster movies. I, I liked it when I was five. Uh -huh. um, but I don't know if I would like it as an adult. Yeah. I'm going to say no. I'm going to assume no. But I've just never seen those Beastmaster movies. Is that is that the movies where like the, no that's Animorphs. He's got like, these two pet ferrets that are cute. I like them. I've never seen it. It's like He Man. Okay. He Man meets Conan. You get you get Beast Man, or Beast Master, whatever the fuck his fucking name is. Back up! Back up! Back up! Back. Heal. Heal and stay close. Heal and stay close. Fuck! Are you doing? You just wanted to beat him with the bow. That's what's going on, isn't it? Isn't it? Huh? I, I saw my opportunity. <laughs> yeah. I saw my opportunity, Rich. <laughs> I had him. I had him with a couple you, bow shots. You, you almost threw that away. You almost threw that away. I got it. That's all that mattered is I got it with the bow. Soup, 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 soup. So now I can have a Mensis cage is the really important part. Mm. I can have the cage on my head if I want, <laughs> which is ridiculous. Which is great. Okay. Oof. I'm not fond of anything that makes me look goofy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It makes you look goofy. Uh, yeah. I, I'm personally not fond of that. Sure. 
Whew, okay, great. Um, King Vidiot says, I have a bunch of great 80s schlocky movies on VHS that I have yet to watch, like Roadhouse, Ooh, yeah. Chud, and Blind Motherfucking Fury. Watch Blind Fury! <laughs> That's one of my favorite action movies, period. <laughs> not, not favorite B action movie. That's one of my favorite action movies, period. Blind Fury is awesome. <laughs> And I, I am a huge fan of Roadhouse. Like, Swayze ripping people's throats out is the greatest. Roadhouse is awesome. Okay, great. Turbo Jesus 5000! Thank you for subscribing. We really appreciate it. It's true. We really do. All right, now. So now that I've beaten Mikolash... I want to explore this castle a little bit, see what's... I think, I want to say last time I just went, you know, I went right to the to the enemy. Ooh, here's some shit. Ooh, an iron door key. That's fun. That's fun, don't you think? Yep. Don't you think that's fun? I think yep. that's so much fun. Roadhouse is great. Watch Roadhouse. I've never seen Blind Fury. I've heard Rich talk about Blind Fury a lot. I fucking love Blind Fury. <laughs> and then Jay did the Roadhouse Super Cup. Yeah. Uh, of every person Patrick Swayze punches <laughs> or kills. Punches in the... Pun uh, every punch, pa face punch in Roadhouse. Every face punch in Roadhouse. An something, important Super Cup. Something we watched recently may, may encourage Jay to do a different type of Super Cup. <laughs> Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Don't spoil. No, it. Um, that's enough. That's just enough. That's a little little tease right. right there. That was a that was a. That, you know what that was? It was it was just a tip. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice, Rich. I'm just looking around now, exploring. I think all the skeletons. Okay, so that's the air. Oh, okay. I, I should light that lamp. So when are you going to stream Jedi Knight Mysteries of the Sith? You get to fight a Rancor and play as Mara Jade. I don't give no fucks about Mara Jade. Fuck her. Mary Jane? Uh, Mara Jade, one of the Expanded Universe characters. Oh. Oh. Some, you know what? Something I cut out of the of the review for Battlefront that I thought was a really good point and I really struggled with keeping it in was your question of how come we've never gotten a 3D Star Wars game where you get to play as Luke Skywalker? Yeah, yeah. And I thought that was a really interesting and point. People are going to bring up because they're they're anal. You get to play as multiplayer in Jedi Academy. We're not talking about we're talking about like an actual game starring Luke in the 3D era, and like a single player experience. Like you get to you know, like yeah, waggle around your lightsaber and defeat as Luke Skywalker. Because it's a good waggle your lightsaber game. Je the Jedi Knight. In Jedi Knight 2, especially 2. Mm. Really fun gameplay. I am dick. Um, you know, in general, like, and we streamed that bit where we got to just play as Luke Skywalker in Battlefront. That was kind of neat. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, yay, I'm, I'm Luke Skywalker. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Fuck, you're going to give me a blood In Rebels Strike, you play as Luke for half of it. All right, well, I never played Rebels Strike. Do you get to run around with your lightsaber? Or is it a, is that just a flying game? Or is that just, yeah. Or is that just an X-Wing game? Oh. Like, they've never done something like Jedi Knight style starring Luke. <laughs> I shouldn't use this. My big dumb. My big dumb saw. Do, 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 like do, like do. that Shadows of the Empire game. It started the new character from the book, Dash Rendar. Oh my I don't even remember. Oh I don't even remember that. Oh, you know, I heard that was actually really good. That's a uh, uh, M Mind wants us to talk about the Ninja Turtles Batman crossover. Oh, I haven't read it, but it looks great. I I think only issue one is out, but I've heard really good things. I I am planning on reading that. 
Like I like, I like Freddie Williams. I like Batman. I like Ninja Turtles. It's just I'm never in a comic book store anymore. I fell out of comics. Oh, fuck you. Not you, Rich. That, it's that, fine. That either fucker. way, either way, it's fine. That fucker who. Damn it. Settle down. There we go. There we go. I got it now. All these neat looking enemies in these games. Look at this guy. Like, it like looks great. Big pot belly, weird fucking mask on his face. He's great. He's got these little, like, tiny knights with him, always. Wipe your fetus! <laughs> Thank you <laughs> for subscribing. <laughs> we really appreciate it. Oh, that's a great name. <laughs> Wipe your fetus. Get out of town. That's great. Oh, we got a moon. Be, be careful, because we've got a Christian nut. It's going to come gunning for you. Some name what? like that. We've oh, got a Christian nut. <laughs> careful. Like babies. Saving babies. All them um, unborn babies. He was, he was saving. Once they're born, they're all around their fucking old, and I'm not paying for it. <laughs> Tax are too high. Fuck Save em. those babies. Fuck them, man. Fuck them. I mean, don't fuck them. You, yeah, you know what I mean. Where am I going? Yeah, I lost. That's fine. I'll find my way. I don't care what your political views are, but I mean, if you're if you're going to be pro life, you should probably also be pro food stamps. I'm just saying. I am adding nothing to this conversation. Rich is all. Rich is treading dangerous water. Yeah, well, that's it. That's all. I'm, that's I'm it. Okay. done. Now. Okay, he's done. Great. Did you ever play The Force Unleashed? It wasn't Luke, but close enough and really fun to play. I didn't play it because I'm not a God of War fan. And I heard that was very much like God of War, only Star Wars. Oh, really? Yeah. That could be neat. The Force Unleashed. These are all games we should be playing right now. But fuck it. But fuck it. I'm just making sure I didn't miss any pick-me-up items now that the skeletons are all gone. So this is the fun part of Bloodborne. Hey, you're going to die. Yes, yes. Reiterate for anybody just walking in recently. One day ban on anybody who wants to talk about Star Wars, The Force Awakens spoilers, even if you're joking, because we don't know what's a joke or not at this point. Right. So no even joking about Star Wars tra uh, spoilers. A a anyone. I don't know if anyone has been banned yet, uh, because if they're banned, obviously I probably wouldn't see them. But... That is the rule for today. Don't even joke about spoilers. Psychic Guana says consume. <laughs> Obey. Consume. That's a good movie. What level is Jack? He's 106. I can I can show you. Here's all here's all my stats. This is uh, Ethel Gilf. This is the I, I want to say I we built this character together on stream. Yep, a while ago, and I've been playing with her. I really like her. Uh, level one hundred and six. Uh, you'll notice my. Uh, oh, yep. Yeah, there she is. Oh, there's Ethel. Interesting. Other than skill, though, you you leveled pretty evenly. Well, that's how I that's how I've been playing. But then I found this weapon. Yeah. And I so I've been really upping the skill and blood tinge. So that's what I've been doing. Those are my runes. Damage reduction, boost stamina, more echoes from slain enemies, st and stamina recovery speed up. That's uh, that's how I roll. All right, I think I got everything from in here, so now we can move on. I think. There's something else in here. There's like a way... If you put any kind of spoiler in the donation message, uh, a permaban then, because I don't want any spoilers before I see the damn movie. <laughs> Do, 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 do. If I even see the word Star Wars in a donation thing, then I'm just not reading it. If I see the word Star Wars, Ray, Finn, Han, Chew, I'm just gonna stop and chew. Even if it like it could be food it could be related. Just food related, yeah. but I'm just stopping at chew. <laughs> that is very funny. Uh, there is in here, in here somewhere, somewhere in the depths here is a, is the blood rock mm -hmm. that you need to get to uh, to get any weapon to level ten. 
what do you think of Sony signing Hideo Kojima Productions to their first game? Uh, duh. I don't. Was there any question that the man wasn't going to get a job somewhere else? <laughs> <laughs> it's not like he started sucking. Relative to our opinions on Metal Gear. Right. But, I mean, you know, still a, a, a person that has a huge fan base. And Sony wants to make money making games, and he will make them money making games. He might spend a lot doing it, but not not shocked at all. Oh, God, right? I'm, what I'm more shocked is that he didn't do a Kickstarter campaign to make it himself. That's what I'm more shocked at. Yeah, that's what I was expecting. That was... A chunk. I was expecting the you can make the the next uh, the ultimate Metal Gear experience. Oh, yeah. Wait, I remember this. Oh yeah, in here, down here. Let's see if we can see any. How do I feel about the White Sox trading for Todd Frazier? I think I think the White Sox need to focus on their goddamn farm system. They're farming. They they need to farm. They need to farm. You held us really low, just so you know. Oh, I know. I'm debating, uh, you know, I have. A, I think I'm close to having enough to level up. And so I'm just kind of treading. Um, There's something I'm supposed to do over here. MG Elosi? Yeah, you can respect Kojima for not doing a Kickstarter. I'm just saying I'm shocked he didn't. He could have made millions of dollars and done whatever with it. Because... Oh, I, yeah, I guess I'm, I'm only shocked because I didn't think that highly of him. <laughs> like, I really thought that, yeah, he would, he, I really thought he was the kind of person. I'm not, I wouldn't even think lowly of him for it. If he can get away with it, all right. Not, I guess, yeah, not, I don't, I don't want to say, like, he's a... As long as you be, actually fucking deliver and you're not you scamming game. someone, I'm okay with Kickstarter. I know, I know a lot of people around these parts don't agree with me on this. Mm. I know that. Oh. Unless you're, unless you're double dipping, like some people did, and that was kind of shady. Yeah. Yeah. I remember now. If you're not being shady about it, I don't care. Do your Kickstarter. Oh, I get it. I get it. I remember. I remember, Rich. Well, Kenny Williams doesn't farm. Kenny Williams likes to go for the the big name. Isn't that kind of what he's historically done? He's, he's the guy he's behind the White Sox right now. He was their GM for a while. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, there's life. Okay. I'm gonna go level up, and then I gotta go farm for some blood vials, and then I think we're gonna get to a uh, get to a neat part. We're gonna get to a weird part. Um, Th- thoughts on the X Men Apocalypse and Independence Day Resurgence trailers? Haven't seen either. I don't really have any interest in Independence Day because I didn't especially love the original movie. I have fond memories of the original movie. And I'm not a big X Men fan in general, so I haven't seen either trailer. Um, I have. I'll talk about them. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I, I, it's been a while since I've seen Independence Day, but I remember it. Uh, I remember it fondly as schlock. Mm-hmm. Simple schlock. Sorry, no. I, I had. I'm sorry, doll. I'm sorry. Listen, I had, I had a thing that I wanted to. Uh, what the here. And th- this one looked like very similar schlock. Uh, the fun, the fun thing, or, or the the dumb fun thing is, you know, I guess they have a bigger ship now. Uh, <laughs> I get whatever. Um, all right. Welcome home. I, I, sorry, doll. I, I don't. Yeah, I know. I'm letting you stand close. Shut my eyes. Uh, ooh, I'm actually really close to another, uh, close-ish to another level. Kenny loves to draft athletes to develop them into baseball players and trade pieces for and and, and trade them for players past their prime. Yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> oh, well, well, apparently that's a thing that happens. I, I got to go um I'm just doing some farming right now, people don't mind me. Doing some farming. Some blood vial farming. The best place to get blood vial. Central Yarman's where you do your farming. Yar- farming and Yarman. I think that was purposeful. Probably not. Um, oh, X-Men Apocalypse. As, as everyone knows here, I wasn't actually a huge fan of the Days of Future Past movie. 
Mm-hmm. I thought it was really dumb. Um, and I, I've always thought that Brian Singer has been unable to direct action very well. Okay. I don't think he's a good action director. I think he's a good director, and I like movies that he's made, but I don't think he does action very well. And so uh, I think I'm not going to like this one, is my official prediction. It looks r- hokey. Uh, Apocalypse uh, looks like he's wearing big styrofoam and rubber armor. And uh, how 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 else do you do Apocalypse? Exactly. <laughs> well, you know, is the lesson here just don't do Apocalypse? The, uh, also, to be fair, by the way, I feel the same way about Thanos. I f- I think Thanos looks dumb. Yeah, Thanos is fine. <laughs> I just think he looks dumb. I think that there are some... I think I've said it before, but Thanos is one of my favorite characters in all of comics. Oh, I know. But I think there are some things that don't translate well to movies. And I think he looks dumb. I'm sure he's going to be fine. I'm sure he's going to be a fine character. And I'm sure his character is going to get me over how dumb he looks. Mm -hmm. But he looks dumb. You know what he looks like? He looks like Thanos. But I think that's something that that, uh, you can get away with in drawings and... Oh, fuck you. And not necessarily in uh, in the movies. I don't know if your farming is working out so well for you. Yeah, well, these guys I just kill to kill because sometimes they drop stuff. But these guys usually have a lot of good blood echoes. And then there's another troll over here, or blood vials. Yeah, look, that three blood vials right there, three blood vials right there. Then there's an ogre over here. He's got at least two usually. Then there's another ogre down the steps, and he's got a couple. Ogres are good for... Like, like Preacher. Preacher's a preacher's something you could adapt, mm-hmm. but nobody will do it right because they'll be too afraid to do it right. <laughs> Subject matter's too controversial. <laughs> Basically, no, no producer's ever going to let them shoot God in the head. At the end of Preacher. <laughs> oh, fucking dogs. Big shield over bullets. I'm, I'm calling it. The Preacher show is going to have a pro-God message at the end. Of <laughs> I'm calling it. Uh, no. Yep. Oh, yeah. They're going to they're gonna do that. They wouldn't go that. I, th- I think they will. I think they will. That's crazy. Blood vial for him. Farming and yarmin, that's what we're doing. I feel like a big jerk right now because I just spoiled the fuck out of Preacher. Huh? I just spoiled the fuck out of Preacher. Oh, you really did? I really did. I wasn't even thinking about it. It just came out. Uh Uh-huh. Just don't listen to that last five minutes. Here's here's the thing, though. How how old is the Preacher comic book? Like like a decade. It's like a decade old. Well past the moratorium for spoiler... Ter- uh, ter- territory. I always think that's so funny, like, when the last season of Game of Thrones was on. And mm-hmm. people were like, don't spoil it. It's like, the books have been out for years. Yeah. People have known the ending for so long. And like, no, but don't spoil it. We have a code here. Where's the... The lantern. There it is. Who would you cast to play the John Wayne in Jesse Custer's head? Uh... Much much like the comics, I would go out of my way to keep that in silhouette. I don't know who I would cast, but obviously you're not going to show a face there. You shouldn't. <laughs> I still need to get those books from you. Those preacher books? Yeah, oh yeah, you do. You I want I want to read those. I feel so bad about spoiling that. Eh, I mean, I'm sure it's I'm sure it's a good journey. You know what, Richard? It is a great journey. It's not always about the destination. Sometimes it's about the journey. <laughs> Chad, I'm I'm legitimately sorry. But why haven't you read Preacher by now? <laughs> it's been a decade. I'm just gonna go one more time through. Sorry about the farming, everybody. This is I'm just farming. Revenge of Star Wars spoilers in three, two. <laughs> uh, no. Oh no, retaliation no, strike. Retaliation. No, no. Retaliation spoilers. Right. You know, like we, you made a joke. You made a Star Wars joke earlier about 
uh, Vader being Luke's father, right? But not being his father. Te- technically, that's a spoiler, right? <laughs> like it's a spoiler for a thirty-year-old movie. No, right? no, I said, I said the twist in the Force Awakens. I, oh, I, I, I heard that. Is that Vader's not Luke's father after all? Right, but the paternity test in the movie. But that was spoiling. That was spoiling. Um, eh. This is all. This is all I'm saying. Is technically speaking, that was spoiling a forty-year-old movie. While you're at it, Rich, ruin why the last man. Why the last man ruins itself. It's a self-ruining story. Dump do dum do dum blood vials. Do 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 blood vials. Do 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 do. Farming ogres drop a couple of blood vials. Yeah, now suddenly everybody in the world was going to read Preacher. Suddenly. Well, I, you know what? I, I know there was a spike in Walking Dead sales after the show came out. Yeah. But, of course, that was a good show. Who knows if Preacher is going to be good or not. Do, 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 do. That guy's got some quick silver bullets. I could leave the room. I could ban myself for the night. And I, and I, I, I get it. I get it. And the fun thing is I'm Rich's ride home, and so like he just he'll just have to sw- sit in the other room and twiddle his thumbs. So I kind of like that. So I kind of... Wait, are you really going, Rich? All right. Um, so X-Men Apocalypse. You know, I think they're... I think you really left. Um... I don't know. I think we've made some strides with comic book movies where where they're being taken a little more serious. And I think that uh, the hokiness of X-Men Apocalypse you know, might uh, undo some of that. I don't know if that's fair. Like I said, I just really didn't like Days of Future Past. So. And I read X-Men. You know, I like X-Men. I like X-Men comics. We'll see. I'll give her a go. Do, 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 do. Killing people. I don't need to kill these guys. I could just run past them, but they have quicksilver bullets. And because um, I use them with my bow, I can you know, just pick them up. I also like have enough blood echoes where I could buy a bunch of vials, but you know, no one wants to buy blood vials. Take five minutes, farm a little bit, grab a bunch of blood vials. The part coming up is something I've actually never done before. Um, I went straight to the boss, and there's a side route that uh, apparently uh, is where the blood stone is. And I'd love to get my bow blade to level 10. So I want that blood stone. So, why does Jack hate adverbs? I don't know. I don't understand what that comment means. Get rich back. Get rich back. I, I don't know. <laughs> rich, uh, rich spoiled uh, the end of preacher. So I think he has banned himself. Let's spoil something so I have to leave too. <laughs> That'd be great. And we'll just leave the camera here on, on Ethel. Oh, look at that moon. Look at that moon. Dun, 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 dun. This summer. Dun, 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 dun. One grandma. Dun, 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 dun. Is gonna fuck some shit up. Dun, 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 dun. What's everybody's feeling on Independence Day, by the way? I've always regarded it as just like a fun, fun, schlocky movie, much like The Rock. You know, everybody loves The Rock. Everybody should love The Rock or Face Off, where they're not, like, amazing movies, but they're great. <laughs> they're great in their own way, you know? The Rock, Face Off, Independence Day, I put those all in very similar categories as far as, like, schlock and schmaltz is concerned. So, I don't know. I, uh... Uh, I guess I always looked favorably upon those movies. Where are we going now? Um, 
Without spoiling, what are your thoughts on the season one ending of Man in the High Castle? Loved it. I, I really, I really enjoyed it. I, um, I, I was falling in love with Oberfuhrmeyer, whatever his name, Oberfuhr Schmidt Smith. I, I loved, I loved ever everything, and I, I thought uh, that was a really competent show. I think Amazon has some. Uh, Thank My unbanned? You. Thank you. Thank you for coming back. <laughs> My unbanned. Independence Day is a fun watch. Very cliche and campy, but a fun watch. That's, that's the thing. Yeah. That's the thing about Independence Day, where it's like, you get what you get it going in. Um, Isn't that the start of, we don't need no story, we can just do things with the computers that we couldn't do before? But there's a story. It's just incredibly simple. <laughs> the aliens come. We gotta stop the aliens. Yeah, because we can. We oh, we can just do big explosions. That's all we need. Yeah, but I feel like that's what they were going. That's for. when. That's that's. I think that's the moment when people when Hollywood started going bad. It's Independence Day. You think? Yeah. Jurassic Park started CGI, but that was early CGI. They were still used to having stories. Uh-huh. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I like that. They had this horrible, uh, 